Did you know the way you breathe can have a major impact on your oral and oral health? Mouth breathing, which is when air is drawn through the mouth instead of the nose, is more common than you might think. It can affect both children and adults, and often starts with nasal blockages, allergies, sinus issues, or even structural problems like deviated septum. But breathing through the mouth instead of the nose has serious consequences. One of the most immediate effects is dry mouth. Without enough saliva, your mouth can neutralize acids or wash away bacteria. That means the higher risk of cavities, gum disease, and bad breath. In children, chronic mouth breathing can actually change the way the face develops, leading to long, narrow face, dental crowding, and poor jaw alignment. These changes aren't just cosmetic. They can affect how a child sleeps, eats, and speaks. For adults, mouth breathing is often tied to sleep disturbances, including snoring and sleep apnea, which can impact energy levels, concentration, and overall wellness. Nasal breathing, on the other hand, plays a vital role in whole body health. When we breathe through the nose, we filter the air, humidify it, and support proper oxygen exchange. This reduces inflammation and support better focus, memory, digestion, and of course immunity. Mouth breathing, by contrast, has been linked to headaches, and large tonsils, poor posture, muscle tension in the head and neck, and even systemic inflammation. So how do we fix it? The first step is finding the root cause, whether it is allergies, sinus problems, or jaw or palate issues, or the position of bony structures of the face. From there, we can create a personalized plan to restore proper nasal breathing and protect both oral and overall health. Breathing should be effortless and health promoting. If you or your child are mouth breathers, it's time to take a closer look and take action.